Same as usual, the R5, the 70-200 Cam Ranger. That subject. Ready? <laughs> All right, let's take a look. This photo shoot is a wrap. today is pretty straightforward. Um, it's a portrait shoot. This is an example. The whole idea is to help people look authentic. Standard shooting for me is the Canon R5. I've been a, a Canon shooter all of my professional life and even in college. My first, my, my very first camera was a, was a Canon FTB. I shoot with the 70-200 f2.8 lens, which is an absolutely phenomenal lens in terms of sharpness and clarity. And lighting is relatively simple. There's going to be a main, of course, and then a fill and a background light against a white background. I'm not anticipating any challenges, but one of the things that happens on any shoot is that there are unexpected issues. When I get there, we do whatever it takes. So, you know, a light could go down, people could be late, things just happen. But I think that one of the things about being a professional photographer and, in, and serving your clients in the best manner, you just go with it. Hello, hello. So many people. I know. Hello. How are you doing? Like two. <laughs> good, good. Okay, uh, same as usual, the R5, the 70-200 Cam Ranger. Light kit, stands, the lights, the diffusers. Backdrop, makeup kit. And you. And me, and you. So when we used to shoot with people at this firm, uh, they would be sitting on a posing stool. We had a gray background, more dramatic lighting. It was much more of a stationary kind of uh, headshot where everybody was in exactly the same position, doing exactly the same thing. The new format, which I created along with the new marketing manager, we're shooting on a white background. We're shooting more open up, so it's, it includes more of the body. The objective is to show people's personalities, have them be more human, more expressive, make sure that they are relaxed and authentic. I try to do that in all of my projects, but in particular, this one shows a significant departure from the way it was done before. So the room has changed a little bit. They've done some remodeling. They put, some, put a mural against the wall that we normally shoot against. So we'll have to check that out before we set up to make sure we have access to power. So let's go over this just one more time again. Backdrop there, camera here, lights, P power on either side, and we've got power in the center if we need it. Uh, to 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 two, three, okay, that subject. Okay. And you go four and four. Yeah. So essentially, my whole approach in setting up a shoot like this is I start at the back and we work to the to the front. So it's always the same. So that way you don't miss any steps. My whole process is is one of evolution. Equipment has gotten better and I figured out more things myself over a period of time, I would say that my whole process is refined to the point where I can set everything in position and I get good high quality results. When I go on site for portraits, uh, this is pretty much the same setup. Different clients may may specify lights in different positions. Some, some clients specify the main on the other side. You know, those are just fine little, little details. Yeah, let's do metering. And actually, let's just start with the main. Ready? Okay, again. One more. So let's do uh, fill. Again. Hey, Jennifer, good. 
Good to see you. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, I appreciate appreciate the business and. Uh, well, yeah. It's, well, it's you always, always great do work. great work. So I've been with VAA a little over a year, and I inherited Steve as one of the the vendors that we work with. So coming in, you know, he had already been doing um, headshots and photography for VAA for a number of years, and as a new marketing director, you come in and you kind of evaluate, okay, do I want to continue working with these people or not? And day one thought, yep, yep, he knows what he's doing, is great. One of the things that he does really well is putting people at ease because it's not natural for everyone to stand in front of a camera and try and smile for a headshot. And then also being able to know that Steve is going to come in and he's going to do the job and I don't have to monitor it, manage it at all. I just, you know, this is what we need to do and I know it's going to be great. I think that's pretty good. We might do another test when we get going. So let's turn on the uh, background light, make sure it's pumped up to enough power. Yeah. Yeah. That would be great. Okay. So just one second. Brittany, how are you? Good. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, you too. <laughs> uh, all right. So thank, thank you for being the first one. The first one is always a little bit of uh, experimentation. So X marks the spot. Okay, so I want that right between your legs. Maybe stand, stand just kind of casual. Maybe put all your weight on one hip. All right, so let me just look at you. Perfect. She knows how to do it. Okay, so Nicole, first thing, I think we maybe need to nudge the background this way just a little bit. Lower two, please. Way down. That looks there good, doesn't go. it? Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Okay, <clears throat> bring your chin this way just a little bit. Eyes right here. Good. Nice. And again. Nice. Let's have you shift over to the other hip. There you go. Yeah. You can put both hands. In. I like it. I like it. Hanging out. Good. Nice. Wonderful. And again. Nice. Good. Wonderful. One of the things that I really like about this camera is eye detection focus. So if you, if you can zoom in here, you can see how that uh, focus point is locked right into her eye. Uh, so it's on face detection, eye detection. What that does is it makes virtually every photo sharp tack in focus. There is almost no chance that it'll be out of focus, which is such a great thing. You don't want to get a great expression and then, oh, she's just a little bit out of focus. The camera focused on her nose instead of her eye. So this one is just dead on perfect. All right. So should we take, you want to take a look at your pictures? So this is a little bit different than we did to probably the last time we shot. So we'll go through your pictures and you're going to have the opportunity to pick out your favorite one. Oh, right away. Yep, yep. yep. When we're going over the iPad photos, I have already marked them and starred them as the ones that I think are going to be the best and that they're most likely going to pick. And then we go through, they find their favorite one and we pick their headshot within 30 seconds of sitting down usually with them. And then it's nice because they can see what they're doing, see what they're looking at and make sure they have a good headshot that they really like. You can see the stars on there, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so if you see one, any of those that right. you I like better than the other ones, I starred, let me know. This one? I'd agree with that. I think your smile looks really nice. You look, look like you know what you're doing. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Good luck today. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, no, Steve is always great to have in. He comes in and we get to have you know all of our employees who need a headshot done all at once. Um, so it's it's great that he's so <laughs> versed. You come in, it's a 15 minute slot and you get, you get a good photo that can go out to clients and be used internally. It's always a, a genuine photo I've found from the headshots that I've seen. But he has just always been great for our headshots so we've never felt a need to look anywhere else. So this is your spot. So I want to kind of right between your legs like that. Just kind of, kind of hang out there for me. All right. Very good. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Excellent. Okay, very good. Right here, buddy. Very good. Okay, not quite so fierce. Can you give me a little? There you go. Excellent. Whoops, got a misfire there. Again, nice smiles. For your favorite person right here. Smiles. Good. Good. What I want you to do is just grab onto the lapels of the jacket. Just give it a tug in just so it doesn't fall back too far. You can let go of it. Very good. Just, just let them hang to the side. Chin comes this way just a little bit. Good. Nice. Wonderful. Very good. 
we'll be, just uh, don't worry about the flashing. We'll be done here in a couple hours. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Have a seat, and Nicole's going to take you through your pictures. And then if you want to pick out your very favorite, then we will start that, and you can pick your headshot today. So this is the very last one that we took. My very last one. When I made you laugh. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> nice work. Perfect. So is this the picture? Yeah, I think we'll go Perfect. with that one. Perfect. We'll go with that one, and then as long as you're happy with that, and then we'll make all those edits for you. Yeah, yeah it looks really good. So one of the things that I try to do when I shoot people is if they're not smiling naturally, I try to catch them in a moment, say something funny, not in every case, but invariably that ends up to be a potentially a good moment. So if you take a look at this photo right here, this was actually at the very end of this particular sequence with this guy. He totally relaxed. He wasn't posing anymore. I said something just to kind of brighten him up a little bit and I got a smile just like that which ended up being his final choice. If you go back and you take a look at some of the earlier ones, you know, he looks, I mean, he's a pretty cool looking dude, but you can see that smile is not not really as genuine. It's a, he looks a little tentative, maybe slightly uncomfortable. Now, he may like that one better, but it just so happens in this case, he actually chose the one as his choice, uh, being the one where I actually just caught him in the moment. Okay, this is Ben. So uh, Ben has uh, told me that, that he had a yeah. career in Hollywood. Is that correct, Ben? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So this is kind of this is kind of your spot here. So I want that kind of right between your legs. So I just want you to kind of hang out. Very good. But I want you to bring your your chin around more to me. So bring your chin this way just a little bit. Very good. Okay, chin comes down just a little bit. So I'll be giving you some direction that that will be designed to keep minimize the glare on your glasses. Just so so you know. Okay. Okay. Right here. Good. Excellent. This is for mom. <laughs> Excellent, very good. Um, so when we talk, you know we use our hands, we, right? That's only natural. But when we stop, we don't typically just go down to, to here. We might maybe, maybe just kind of hold onto a finger kind of thing, so just kind of, yeah, like that. Very good, okay? Chin comes down again, good, good. Excellent, okay, so keep your head in the same position. What I want you to do is just reach up, take your glasses off, keep, keep look at me, look at me. Very good, you can put your glasses back on. So that's what's called a plate. So, what, so if I can't get the glare off your glasses, what I'm gonna do is just stitch that eye over from, that, from the previous picture into this one, okay? Okay, and last one here, make it good. Wonderful. Okay, let's take a look. I'm gonna have you come over to the table right over here, have a seat, and Nicole's gonna take you through your pictures. So part of the process that I use for shooting portraits is that I want people to be able to see what we're shooting as soon as it's shot. Several years ago, I got onto a product called the Cam Ranger. So this is a little device that attaches to, to the camera uh, and it creates its own little Wi-Fi. As soon as we take the picture, that picture is transmitted directly wirelessly to my iPad over there. That accomplishes two things. First of all, if if I'm off in some way, if something doesn't look right, Nicole can stop me right there as it's shot. Then after we've shot, we can mirror the images on the iPad over to a laptop. That way a subject can come over and sit down in front of the laptop and they can see their pictures and they can pick their favorite one. The immediacy of that really shortens the whole process up so that people don't have to wait for proofs. They don't have to look at a web gallery. We can skip a whole bunch of steps in communication. The subject picks their favorite picture. We know which one it is. It's, we actually have a starring system, so we star the best ones. When I go, get back to the studio, I simply bring up all of the images and filter for the stars, and then we know exactly which ones are going to be the final images. I think the clients really appreciate it. Uh, I'm sure you heard from Jennifer earlier that one of the reasons why they like working with me is that I've 
refine this whole process down so much that everything just kind of works. So she can, without even thinking, she knows that everything's going to turn out perfectly. That, that's really, I think, where I, I probably have an advantage over many photographers in that, that I would call it a refined artistic process. So with other photographers, this whole process might be stretched out into several days or even weeks from beginning to end. With this particular setup and how I've designed it, that whole process is shrunken down to just minutes to the point where I can just concentrate on the artistry of the, of the picture itself. The end result is that the pictures turn out better than they would otherwise. Excellent. I don't know, this is too, too many good pictures here. We're gonna have to, t I'm gonna, we're gonna have to take some out of focus or something. Tip your head this way, just keep coming, keep coming. There you go, eyes right here. Very good, all right. For that beautiful family of yours, good. And again, nice. I've had great experiences both times where Steve's been really personable and nice and I felt, you know, really comfortable. It didn't feel awkward like I was forcing a smile the whole time or anything. Super easy quick photo shoots where you felt pretty at ease the whole time. Just being able to sit down and kind of have it all be done at one time, I think made things feel a little more smooth and it was kind of nice just being able to see them immediately and choose my favorite and kind of know that it worked out okay and not be left wondering. <laughs> That's probably an improvement, otherwise you're kind of like just waiting like a month to see them, like hopefully I didn't smile funny or anything like that. <laughs> really terrific. Yeah, it really was. Come on over and here, have a seat, take, take a look at your pictures. Coming into this, I was expecting like, hey, it's just a company photo shoot, like I was just gonna come in and out. Um, I didn't actually think that Steve was kind of gonna work with me a little bit and, and I've done a few photo shoots, like a few other professional headshots, and I never really liked the way they turn out. I've always had issues kind of making my, my smile look natural and especially in front of a camera, it's always been a tough thing for me to do. So he helped find the right angles for me and, and made it feel really natural and very conversation based. Getting me to laugh a little bit and seeing the pictures, it, it looks great and better than I could have thought it was gonna turn out. So I'm very happy about that. That's a wrap, it was a good shoot. No major flaws, we didn't forget anything, which is always good. Little technology glitch in there, but like you can't control electronics, so. It was good, I'm happy with it. Excited to work for them again and do more headshots. This photo shoot is a wrap. Actually been a great day, uh, everything went very smoothly. We photographed 18, 19 people, great bunch of people. The client is happy, the marketing director stopped in a couple times to uh, check things out and she was thrilled. And of course, that's the main thing is to make sure the client is happy. So we're gonna pack up our little goodies here and go home. So here we are back in the studio and it's time to now start some editing. So here's my process. The first thing we do is we, we load all of the images into an application, in this case, Adobe Lightroom and we filter down to the final choices that each person made for their photos. And so we'll just take a quick look at them. Uh, here they all are on the screen. We're going to focus in on one particular person that would probably give us a good demonstration in terms of what I do. And that's, that's this uh, young man right here. Uh, this is Ben. So we're going to, uh, we're going to edit his photos and First, we're going to crop his image right here, so we don't need all of that. Obviously, there was a little bit of background bled through, but we're, we want to be probably somewhere in this area. So, as I mentioned, when we were shooting, I always shoot to, a, to an 8 by 10 aspect ratio, so that's what we're going to be fixing on here. We want to make sure that in the cropping that we give him enough headroom here. This is called headroom. A lot of photographers will say, well, either the hands should be in or hands should be out. I don't subscribe to that. It, it's really all about what's up here in the face anyway. So in terms of what the client is looking for in for consistency with the other pictures, this is uh, probably the right crop. Okay, so, so here he is. So we're going to be doing a couple things. We're going to be retouching, doing some cosmetic retouching on his face. You notice here we've got an issue with eyeglass glare. You can actually see the flash on both sides, uh, in both lenses of his glasses. And so we do have a way to, to overcome that. So when we took his picture, we also asked him to take a picture without his glasses on. So that's this one right here. 
And so what we're going to do is we're going to use his eyes from this picture and we're going to copy his eyes over into the other picture. The first thing we're going to do though, before we even do that, is we're going to match, match the cropping. There we go. So now they're both cropped the same. Okay. So we're going to take Ben out of Lightroom and we're going to take him into an application called On One Portrait AI. So that's this application right here. So that, that's a plug-in to, to uh, uh, Lightroom and it's going to take us out into this, into this application in one fell swoop. There we go. And so here we are in On One Portrait AI. And even though you haven't seen anything happen, we, he actually has already been retouched. Now, if you zoom in here, you can see that he's got a nice smooth face and we can actually toggle back. Here, here he is beforehand. He actually pr has a pretty good complexion, so it, it's, it's not, not a dramatic change, but you'll see things like you notice that his, eye, his uh, teeth have brightened, his eyes have brightened, uh, his skin has, has smoothened. And this is all based on these uh, sliders over on this side of the screen, which I have tuned to my own taste. So th these are not default, even though I, it's a one click in this case, I do have a tremendous amount of latitude in terms of what I can do with it. But uh, for this particular guy, I think it looks pretty good. Now, is there anything we can do here? Maybe just a little bit. He's got a couple little uh, dots up here on close to his temple. And let's see here. We're just gonna just gonna take a couple little dots here on his out of his uh, forehead near his temple. His neck looks pretty good. There's a couple of red spots. Maybe we'll just kind of take those out. And there's really nothing else to do. He doesn't have an acne issue or anything like that. So so here he is. He's done. Okay. So we're gonna exit out of that, and we're gonna go back to Lightroom. Now, in order to make the, this eye swap work. We have to do the exact same same thing on the other photo. So we're going to take take there. Here's uh, here's the one that we just edited. We're going to take this the one without the glasses, and we're going to go right back into into on one portrait AI, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. Now in this particular case, so what happened here was after he took his glasses off, uh, his glasses left a little red mark. You can see it right there, so we'll just take that out real quick. There we go. The rest of his face is actually not important because all we're going to be doing is using his eyes. Okay, in the area around his eyes. So we're done there. Okay, so we have two images here. This one and this one. Okay, and what we're going to do with those is we're going to export those out to Photoshop. And we're going to export those out as full size files. Okay, so we have this issue around his eyes. So we're going to go to to the picture of him without the glasses, and we're going to zoom in real tight here. We're going to give ourselves a, a layer to work with, and we're going to grab the quick selection tool here, and we're going to take one eye, and we're just going to expand on that a little bit. Select all that area around the eye. That might, might have been a little bit too much, but actually that doesn't hurt. All right, so we're going we're gonna to zoom back out again. We're going to pull him off to the side here. We're going to grab onto that layer, and we can just drag it over immediately over onto the other picture. And there he is. So it doesn't quite line up, but we can fix that. Okay. Looks a little goofy, doesn't he? Okay, so we're going to move him up here and sort of place him. And let's, uh, in order to get the eyes to match up, we're going to we're going to lower the opac opacity of this particular uh, of this layer. And we're just going to kind of use the move tool. We're just going to get get it so they are absolutely. Looks like they're about the same. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so we don't need any of this other stuff here, so we're going to take that away. Okay, so that's one eye done. So now that we've done this eye swap, 
with one eye, we're going to go back to the other image and we're going to copy that eye and we're going to bring it over and do the exact same thing. Here's the final image. You can see it, it looks great. We have removed uh, the eyeglass glare and he's on the, on the white background. We cropped out the little corner here that was showing from the, from the edge of the backdrop. And this image is final, ready to go. So here we are, the results of this photo shoot. And you can see here all of the five star or best picks that everybody made. That makes the whole editing process go much quicker, but also we've given each person the opportunity to choose their favorite picture. Each one of these photos represents something that, that is interesting about that person, something that they found themselves to be attractive and interesting, something that said something about them. And so that, that's the advantage that we have in choosing the pictures on site. By the time we get into the studio, load everything into the computer, and here we are left with a great photo, and all it needs is some technical work to make it look really great.